Hi, Julian from AWS here. In this video, I would like to talk about a really cool cost optimization feature called Amazon Elastic Inference. So let me explain. Um, a lot of people train deep learning models and then deploy them on uh, GPU instances like uh, P the P2 family or the P3 family. But as it turns out, a lot of models are not large enough or parallel enough to really um, make good use of the thousands of cores present on the GPU instances. And so you end up uh, paying for a GPU instance that you uh, use maybe only 10%, you know, 20%, 30%. And, uh, and of course, that's not good because we'd like to you to pay exactly for what you use and nothing more. So we came up with this service called Amazon Elastic Inference and uh, this was actually launched in uh, at reInvent last year but uh, I still uh, come across a lot of customers who, who've never heard of it so I figured hey it's time to uh, maybe to refresh your memory especially since um, just a few months ago we actually launched a new generation for those um, elastic inference accelerators uh, giving you twice as much GPU memory as, as the previous generation. So, um, so let's look at, a, at an example and then we'll dive a little deeper. So first I'm going to show you an example based on Amazon SageMaker. So here I trained an image classification model using the built-in algo in SageMaker and as usual you'll find the link to this notebook in the video description. So I trained this model, all right, using the uh, uh, generic SageMaker estimator. I set hyperparameters for it, and then I, I trained it. Okay, so it trains for a little while, and um, and then I guess you know as this is a a deep learning based algo. Um, in fact, it's a, it's a ResNet architecture implemented with uh, Apache MXNet. You know, you'd think it, it would make sense to, uh, to actually deploy it um, to maybe a P2 Excel instance, which is the, uh, the, the, le the least expensive GPU instance that we have, right? At $1.36 in EU West 1, which is the, the region I mostly use, but uh, pricing will be similar in other regions. So, of course, I could deploy the model and do it just like that. And, and I could predict with my, uh, with my model. So grab, yeah, let's run those cells. Okay, grab an image. And that's one of the classes present in the, uh, in, in the model that I trained. And then, you know, select my endpoint, call the predict API. Just let's run this thing. Okay, fine, right. And it's properly classified. So fine, um, but then if we were doing this at scale um, and if we were looking at the, the CloudWatch metrics for this, uh, uh, this endpoint here, probably we'd see that it, we don't really keep it busy, right? Because here I trained uh, the smaller uh, ResNet version, which has only 18 layers. And, you know, my gut feeling is this is not large enough to keep the GPU instance completely busy. So I'm paying for this, but, you know, I don't think I'm getting uh, the, the best bang for the buck, so to speak. So the alternative is to do this, right, uh, using Elastic Inference. Um, combine an, a CPU instance with an Elastic Inference Accelerator, okay? And they come in three sizes. Uh, let me show you here. Okay, so uh, medium, large, x large, giving you a certain amount of, uh, of teraflops and a certain amount of uh, a GPU memory. And again, uh, compared to EIA1, uh, these have twice as much memory. So make sure you use those. Um, and uh, and that will allow you to basically um, send multiple samples. More, I guess multiple samples for prediction. You'll be able to pack 
more samples in a single prediction request, and that would, uh, um, you know, increase throughput and, and generally make your app more, even more cost effective and even more efficient. Okay, so use uh, EIA2 from now on. And so that combination here costs about, yeah, let me add that, so 0 0.3 uh, 20 something, right, dollars. And so if you compare this combination to the cost of P2XL, you see it's a, it's a huge discount. It's actually 77% discount. Um, which means you're going to save $754 per instance per month. So if you're running multiple endpoints 24-7, uh, th this could be a huge, huge uh, cost optimization for you. So you, you please consider the, using that, uh, that service. Um, what about performance? Well, you know, your mileage may vary, but generally we find that uh, this combination here is quite close to P2XL. So, you know, uh, all things considered, you know, you get similar performance, uh, so maybe within 10% or something, and you get 77% discount. So, you know, it's up to you, right? I mean, some customers will want the best performance, um, in which case, I guess they're ready to, um, to pay a little more for full-fledged GPU instances, even though they're not fully using them. And for some other customers, maybe cost is a more important factor, and they really want to find the best cost-performance ratio. And then this uh, Elastic Inference service is an easy way to do that, right? Um, so here we're using SageMaker uh, endpoints, but as it turns out, the service is also available on uh, EC2. So you can actually use Elastic Inference with TensorFlow and MXNet, uh, meaning that um, if you use the deep learning AMIs or if you use the uh, deep learning containers, we have actually added um, extra APIs in TensorFlow and in MXNet that extend um, the the behavior of the let's say the TensorFlow estimator, so that you can very easily use uh, those models. And actually, in the blog post that I wrote a while ago, um, there's an example with MXNet, right? And it's um, you know it's basically uh, it's extremely extremely well integrated. Um, for MXNet, you just say, hey, please let me use the uh, Elastic Inference Accelerator context, and that's about it. I think that's the only modification you need to do in your code. And and for TensorFlow, we added a tf.contrib package that uh, basically extends, like I said, the TF estimator and lets you use Elastic Inference. So, um, so if you're using Elastic Inference outside of SageMaker, um, then basically you have the flexibility to come up with the, the, the exact combination that you want. Uh, maybe you're running a, um, a compute intensive app, so maybe a C5 instance would be interesting to run the app itself or the, the web service itself. And you need some kind of acceleration because this uh, API or this app is also uh, uh, performing prediction using a machine learning model. So you can easily benchmark um, the, the, the different instance types for the app and the different accelerator types for the the machine learning part right medium large x large and so you really get the best of both worlds you don't have to compromise on uh, on using uh, uh, you know either a cpu instance that's probably slow for your machine learning predictions or or using a gpu instance which is fast for machine learning but maybe not the best instance type for the actual app that runs on it right so uh, so it's a very, very flexible service. And again, the cost savings are really impressive. So um, I guess, you know, for training, you can use spot instances, which uh, I have another video for uh, if you if you look in, uh, in my channel. And if you combine spot and, and elastic inference, you can actually save, you know, 70, 80 percent across the end to end machine learning workflow from training to uh, to deployment. So, you know, 
I, I would take a look personally, although I'm not paying my doubles bills. Uh, but if I was paying my bills, I would absolutely investigate and see if I can save a whole bunch of money here. Okay, well, that's it for uh, for Elastic Inference. So, you know, super, super simple to use in SageMaker and also available for uh, EC2 with TensorFlow MXNet using extra APIs that we contributed. So, uh, you know, give it a try. I will add links to all that stuff in the video description. And I guess that's it for this one. So, see you later. Bye-bye.